So if you've been following the channel for a while, one thing you've noticed is that I love broken computers. I like finding computers that are just missing parts, incomplete, um, just a basket case. And even though they look like junk and probably are old, outdated, they're still good parts that you can use or you can find somebody who kind of needs that type of computer for whatever reason, retro gaming, just older hardware, you name it, somebody has a value for it. And specifically, my favorite type of broken computer stuff is graphics cards. A lot of the times the repair is a lot simpler than people think. Fresh thermal paste, just a little dusty crusty, or might even just need a new BIOS flash. I've seen that happen a few times. But this one was interesting and it's one I've been seeing lately. So I figured I'd take you along and kind of show you what I've been finding a lot. So this graphics card, a customer reaches out to me and says, hey, I bought a used graphics card on the Facebook marketplace, pay $20 for it. And after a few minutes of gaming or it running, it crashes, starts artifacting, the whole you know shebang that it doesn't want to work now the customer is trying to get more familiar and savvy with computers guys i mean a new skill don't be afraid give it a shot learn something new so more props to this customer so i said drop it off i'll take a look at it and yeah i was kind of surprised on this one which i mean i can't fault them they're not familiar with computers but after i diagnosed it and told them um how much it would cost to fix which was really cheap they just said nah they don't want to mess with it so now it's my problem and let me show you. So this is an RX 580, which these graphics cards were fantastic back in their day. I mean, great bang for the buck, good value. And especially when they hit the used market, I mean, these were the ones I would grab up and put on budget gaming computers. The customer says it's overheating after a few minutes of use and well, come on guys. Do you notice anything missing? I kid you not, it has no fans. Yeah, that's how they bought it. They didn't know it was supposed to have fans. I mean, I get it. I mean, if you look at it to the naked eye, it doesn't look like anything's missing. So, yeah. And I've actually been running into this a lot lately where actually last week, and I didn't get to record it, and it kind of sparked this video, especially when this popped up. I picked up an uh, RTX 3060 Ti for $100 because the fans were bad on it. I was kind of able to put some makeshift fan type setup. It works, works great. Kind of got it in a family member's rig. So, let me show you the professional cool scientific way to do this right nope so now typically when i get any type of used part we test it we make sure it works this does work i did verify that after a few minutes of use it does get a little toasty shut it down before it started doing anything wonky so you got a couple of options i actually went onto aliexpress they do sell the whole cooler for this gigabyte one and it's about forty dollars but that's too pricey for a budget channel and probably for what the card is worth so i'm just gonna do the right thing and come up with something on my own so now you have a couple of options. You can go on Amazon, order some 92 millimeter, 80 millimeter fans, or you could do like I do and just keep tons of heat sinks and old CPU cooler fans and use them. I got two mismatched size, so you know, that should be fine. They're the four pin for a couple of dollars or used parts lying around, you can fix this issue. So now before we go ahead and mount these fans on, we need to take it apart. Why you say? Glad you asked. Gotta change the thermal piece. Thermal paste is important. I don't know if it's been changed. The guy just kind of had it, threw it in there. So let's change it, give us good peace of mind and give us better opportunities for this thing to run. Now this is pretty cool. They kind of stay in here, pretty nice. So I got four screws removed and hopefully this thing should just pop right up. Maybe. Yep. And if you look at our lovely thermal paste, dried up, clear spot. So yeah, probably good that we're doing that. Now these pads, um, Yeah, they're not the best. I don't have any right now. It looks like we'll be able to kind of reuse them because they've kind of, you know, broken in place. So I think it'll be fine for now, but future reference, when I see pads like this that they're really broken up, these are squished down and just dried up. Good idea to change them. Let's clean this off. Now, considering how dried up this is, a plastic razor is your best friend. You don't want to gouge the surface. 
just going to get off this little extra dried up stuff just because, well, OCD kicks in. Pop in some thermal paste. Get a nice little spread. That's probably way, way, way too much, but it's fine. All right, so let's get this thing put back together. Like I said, ideally, we want to change those pads, but I don't have any. But I think we'll be all right. Good as new. All right, so now we're ready to go. So one thing I forgot to mention earlier is you're going to need an adapter like this. So if you look at it, the fan headers, they got these four pins. I think they're called like J2, JP2, JP4s. I'll post exactly what they're called up on the screen. But they're these special fan headers, and you can get these adapters for like two, three dollars on Amazon. Converts it to a traditional four pin, and you can mount any fan you want. These things are a lifesaver if your fan goes bad. So on this card, not this header, not this header, but the one on the bottom, and this is for the Gigabyte 580. Every card is different, so kind of, you know, do your own homework on that one. Plug it in, pop in a fan splitter, two fans, you're good to go. So let's get these things mounted. And I'm thinking the way I want to do it. Maybe like this. Yeah, I could plug like that. So yes, it would be ideal to have matching fans. Preferably, I'd rather have two of these, but I'm on a budget. And I like to reuse older hardware. So this is going to work. I hope. So now we got to find some screws that are going to bite into. I typically just go in and just bite into these uh, aluminum heat sinks. Kind of get some threaded screws. They bite in. I've never had one fall off. And I've done this probably a bunch. So we just kind of got to line it up. Like so, and these are just regular screws that I've just had lying around. Um, I don't know the type. You want to make sure too when you're doing this that you don't go into the heat pipes or screw them in or don't even hit the board. But luckily, the heat sink should protect us. I'm kind of going to do the same thing over here. And all I'm doing is going into the fins, not going crazy, not going too tight. This will hold it relatively in place. And all I'm doing is just going into the fins, the fins spread apart, a little bit of tension, you don't need much, and this thing will hold just fine. And there you go. Look at that. Perfectly fine. Now you could put four, um, I don't think I have enough screws. So this will work fine. It's not going to go nowhere. And then we could kind of, you know, put this together like that. A couple of wire ties or I might even just leave it like that. But, you know, something like that. And I might clean it up later. So we're good to go. Let's pop this on the computer and make sure it works and see if it overheats. Well, we're up and running card installed with no issues everything works fine like i said the card was tested before i got it so i do know that the card works temperatures 84 85 it is a hot card the rx 580s just run hot and i'm sure if i was to change the thermal pads and use the better quality thermal paste we could get the temperatures back to 80 it's just a hot card i know that uh cu another customer that had it his card was always about 82 degrees celsius in a case so something to consider might have to do some tweaking on it but hey it works use some old fans and I really didn't have to spend a dollar. So a quick, easy, cheap fix for a win. Like I said, I keep tons of these fans lying around. I mean, if you have old CPU coolers, guys, keep the fans, keep the coolers. I have a bunch stacked up and I can't tell you how many times that those fans have actually come in clutch for a quick, easy repair. Yes, now aesthetically, it's not the best looking as if you have one of those tempered glass cases. Yeah, that might be an eyesore, but considering that it cost me nothing to fix it and now I have a perfectly good card, 
I think that's a good win. Now you do have some fancier options. You can, like I said, you can get on AliExpress and pay forty dollars for the cooler. Wait about two years for it to come in. Kraken makes one that you can convert an AI, uh, AIO for it. And there's another company I can't remember their name. They also make a cooler for it, but that's expensive. But I mean, for a card as old as this is, and for probably an entry level or a good budget gaming card or for testing, I mean, you want to spend as least as you can and save a buck. So for the future of this graphics card, this is its new home. Would I actually put it in a computer that I would build it to somebody? Absolutely, but considering that the whole tempered glass is actually what sells computers, that might not, you know, be attractive in the sale. So I'll keep it here. And the graphics card that I did have on here, I'll probably put it in a budget build that I may have coming up or whatever like that. But good graphics card. Glad to have it. And yeah, guys, if you see one, don't turn it down. So thanks for watching. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with next.